Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install and set up a private server for Genshin Impact version 4.6. Now, first of all, down in the video description, um, there will be four links. Uh, I want you to open them up. So the first one is MongoDB, Kluna, Kluna again. And the fourth link, it's going to start installing a file automatically. Okay. Now, uh, let's start with MongoDB. In this first page, what you need to do is here, MongoDB community server download, uh, the current version, Windows, MSI, select the MSI one, okay? Then click download. Then we're done with this one. Now, Luna GC 4.6, click on here, code, download, zip. Then we're done with this one as well. Luna GC resources 4.6 code download zip. And we are done. Now you have to wait until um, these things get downloaded. When you are done with downloading them, you can um, close your browser. Now inside your downloads folder, you should have these four. Now go ahead and inside your drive, please, whenever I say this, people people still um, go and create a drive, uh, create a folder inside their desktop or OneDrive. Do not create it inside your OneDrive or desktop. I'm going to create here for the sake of the video. You should go uh, to your C drive or D drive and create a folder named private server, okay? So when you create the folder, uh, one second, okay? Create a folder, open it. Now this is uh, our private server folder, something like our server folder. Um, first of all, go ahead and open Luna GC 4.6 main. Then extract this folder inside your private server folder. Okay, when you're done, close it. Um, I'm going to delete it. Open up your Luna GC resources main and extract it inside your Luna GC 4.6 main folder. This can take a while. Okay, when you're done extracting it, close it. I'm going to delete it again. Um, rename this resources folder to resources, okay? Make sure you name it just like this, not with uppercase, lowercase resources. Now, what you need to do is um, open this RSA patch and cut it and paste it in here. Okay. Now we can close this private server folder. Uh, if you don't have MongoDB, you probably don't have it. Um, run this installer, click on next, accept next, click on complete. Uh, do not change anything. It should say install MongoDB as a service, run service as a network use, a service user. Do not touch anything, click next. I don't think we need compass, but I'm going to um, leave it as it is. Click next, install, and wait for it to install. Sometimes it can say, hey, um, there are like applications, I need to close them. You should say, okay, close. And then it might ask you to, um, it might request a restart. Go ahead and restart your PC if it um, needs it. Sometimes it needs it, sometimes not. So, depends. So, when you are done with installing MongoDB, you can delete this as well. Now, what you need to do is open your private server folder. Uh, go inside this one. And now, inside your Luna GC main folder, hold shift and right click. It will say open PowerShell window here, click on it. What you need to do is run these two files, but first one, you have to run the new, uh, the normal gradlu and then the jar one. This is very important. So how we do it is dot slash gradlu dot bat and click enter. This can take a while. 
Okay, when it says build successful, um, run dot slash, or what you could do is press the uh, upper key and make it jar. Yes, and run it. This uh, will take uh, much longer. So just wait, it, it will get stuck on 62%. That's normal. Okay, press any key to continue. I don't know if you have to do this, but anyways. When it says build successful, uh, you can go ahead and close this. Uh, now I'm going to show you two ways, okay? The first one is copying Genshin Impact game folder, and the second one is using the uh, normal uh, game file, game folder. Now, I highly recommend you to copy the Genshin Impact game file, game folder. So go back to your private server folder and go to your um, Genshin Impact's um, directory. So right click on your uh, launcher or game, open file location, then go up. Inside Genshin Impact game, these are the things that we need. So copy Genshin Impact game and paste it inside your private server folder. This will mean that uh, you will need like additional 90 gigabytes of um, storage space. But I highly recommend this because otherwise you will have to um, put in a file or no. Yeah, put in two files every time you want to play private server. And every time you want to go back to official one, you need to delete one of them and change the, that other one with its um, with the uh, original one. So it's it's a mess. Um, it's it's way more convenient if you can copy um, the Genshin Impact game fo uh, folder. But if you don't have that space, if you don't have like anti gigabytes of free space, don't worry. You can use the uh, normal game folder. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so. It's done um, copying it. So now I'm going to close the uh, Genshin Impact folder. Now open up Genshin Impact game and open up your private server folder. Go inside Luna GC main, RSA patch. If you have copied it, what you need to do is version DLL, copy it, paste it inside your Genshin Impact game folder, just like this. Copy mihoyonet.dll and go inside Genshin Impact data, plugins, and control V to paste it, replace the file in the destination. And this is it. You have, you don't have to touch this um, Genshin Impact game folder ever again. But if you cannot copy it because for some reasons, because you don't have enough uh, space, what you need to do is go to your Genshin Impact folder. Okay. And do the same in this Genshin Impact game folder. Paste the version DLL and paste the uh, MiHoYo Net DLL. But before pasting the uh, MiHoYo one, go inside plugins and there is the original one. Okay, so this, this is the original one. So create a folder here. And I'm going to name it official because this is the uh, official one. I'm going to cut it and paste inside the official one. So now I can copy this and paste it in here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you are done with um, playing in private server and when you want to go back to the official one, what you need to do is delete this one, since this is the uh, f uh, the one for private server, go inside pr uh, official, copy and paste. Go, then go back to Genshin Impact game and delete. So whatever, when you're done with playing in private server, you simply delete this one. Okay, that's it. Delete this one and change the uh, MiHoNet uh, with the uh, original one. That's it. Now, what you need to do is go inside your Luna GC main and open up, shift, right click, open up your PowerShell and you need to run this file, Luna GC 4.6, this jar file. So java space hyphen jar file name luna gc hyphen 4.6.0 point jar because this is a jar file and enter. So this, will, this should work. Yes. And it should create some files. For example, this config 
wait for it to finish. Okay, it says game server started, done. So open up your config and you need to check if you have under HTTP, you need to check if you have use encryption and use in routing set to false. For example, use in routing is true, which it uh, shouldn't be false. And then under it, where is questing? Ah, here. Questing enabled is false. Okay. Now click close, save, and that's it. There is one time thing you need to do. Um, account create. Uh, uh, username could be anything. I'm going to do it Mada. And then UID is optional. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it 1122334455 one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and enter. Account created with UID something something. Now, what you can do is simply launch the game and it should work. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are some important things that you need to know. Uh, 4.6 is, of course, as I uh, always say, the newer the version is, the more buggy it gets. Okay, by the way, when you launch the game, it should say successfully uh, initialized. A black console should open by itself. The newer the uh, private server version gets, the more broken it gets. Okay, the more buggier it gets. So um, 4.6 is buggy, of course. So if you are someone who is new to this, and uh, if you are someone who wants to play normal Genshin Impact, but with cheats, I would highly recommend you 3.2 GIO. Now, the downside of that is there is no content past 3.2, of course, obviously, but it works completely fine and you can um, play it normally, but with cheats. In 4.6, uh, the quests are bugged, you need to start them manually, and so on. Now, you need to know the commands. I'm going to share the handbook inside the uh, PSFAQ channel in our Discord. I'm going to put some examples in there as well. If you need help, please create a, a post inside the uh, support channel. By the way, um, when you when you start the game, when you launch the game, as credentials, you're going to use that username that you used uh, while creating your account. And then as password, you can type anything in it, like W, Q, whatever you want, it will work. And one more important note, this is your server, okay? Like never ever close the PowerShell while you are playing in private server, okay? This needs to stay open. When you are done with playing in, in private servers, you can close this. And yeah, that's it. I don't think I forgot anything. If I forgot anything, I will uh, mention it in the uh, description section. That's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to know how to mod Genshin Impact or how to use skins, um, check out this video. I hope you like this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.